So, um, so it seems like there's two major fields of machine learning in games. One um, is kind of analytics of games and trying to analyze um, how players play the game and how to get more money out of uh, players playing the game. And one is more machine learning embedded into the game. So these would be things like game AIs. And um, although there's very cool applications of machine learning to the analytics side, I think the most interesting examples have to be creating truly intelligent agents that can play the game in a way that adapts to a player's play style, um, or maybe something more, something like their heartbeat. Uh, and I think that's going to be really big in the next 10 years. Uh, probably a company like DeepMind is going to come out with something fairly groundbreaking. So with the Player Personas project, um, we actually wanted to take a step back and not impose some sort of structure on the data and say, we want to find the social players or we want to find the PVPers. Um, our approach was just gathering as much data as we could, um, well, data that was easy enough to pull out of the database anyway, and then using algorithms that themselves could identify on which mm, features players differed the most. So like the algorithm itself found these are the big differences between players um, and it happens to be X, Y, and Z. So, um, so we found several archetypes and you can kind of choose how many you want to find to an extent. Um, but for instance, one archetype is uh, extremely social players who tend to log on to the game just to chat with their buddies. Um, one is really involved in the economic aspects of the game, so they do quite high volume trading uh, on the in-game marketplace. Um, another just seems to be interested in PvP. Uh, another is very interested in maximizing skill levels and getting kind of um, completionist rewards. Um, and then there's a group of players who do everything. They're just a bit, they're, they're super fans of the game and they just want to do everything. And then of course there's people who aren't too engaged at all. So we do track how new, um, so how updates to the game affect key performance indicators like how many players are playing, um, how much they're spending, how often they're logging in, and, and these types of things. Uh, and this is mostly the analytics department of Jagex. The um, archetype or, or the persona work is quite new, um, but the idea I think is eventually to be able to use these archetypes to, um, to target content directly towards players. Uh, and that's in-game content as well as ads. Somebody who likes PvP might be more open to viewing an ad that's, you know, kill, kill people, earn points for killing people. And somebody who's more sociable might be more open to be um, told about, you know, the social in-game chat aspects or the clan aspects of the game. So uh, that's forthcoming, I think. <laughs>